beautiful day here at the Anaheim Convention Center. We've got thousands of people here coming for the annual WonderCon show and convention where you can see panelists, awesome artists, buy cool merchandise, and see great costumes right here in the city of Anaheim. Sam from Sincerely Sam. She makes super awesome artwork here. So tell me, you've been coming to WonderCon for a few years now, right? Yeah, I've been here for I think like four years now. It's been a lot of fun. Why do you come out here? Because it's just a really great show and there's like, we were talking about it the other day, like uh, there's something about Anaheim and like this city that makes the show extra special because we did WonderCon when it was in LA and no one liked it. When it was like, no, bring it back to Anaheim. Well, why do you come to conventions like this? Uh, is it like finding your audience that want to buy your art? Yeah, pretty much. Like, it's really great to be able to come to these shows because not only do you get to like connect with fans and like meet new people, you can also like inspire little kids too. And that's like my favorite part is because like I get a ton of kids like, oh, like you've inspired me to draw, and I'm like, oh my god, thank you so much. And it's it's great to be that influence for kids because you know like I wish I had that when I was little. <laughs> well, speaking of which, what did inspire you to get into this field? Oh man, like just I've always I was. Always I was an artist when I was little and I kind of wanted to like, I wanted to do something a little bit different, not just the typical like, you know, nine to five job. And so like I, I started out just selling buttons and stuff uh, and it kind of grew and now I do like my own art and I do the posters and like I have like enamel pins and tarot cards and like it's really evolved from there. So it's really cool. Yeah. What is it about your art that's unique? Like what's, what's your niche, I guess? Definitely the pink and purple. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if it wasn't obvious, I try to keep a similar color scheme with everything so everything is like consistent and matches so that someone's like, oh, I know that art, that's Sam. And it's like, yep, it's pink and purple. And what is the, the subject of your art? It looks kind of mystical, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, very fantasy oriented, uh, magical, mystical, kind of like combining like the stuff that you see in every day and like giving it that like fantasy twist. Yeah. Well, you're going to come back next year? How's it going so far? Oh, I'm definitely going to be back. I'm always back. I love it. I love WonderCon and getting to come to Anaheim, so yeah. Well, thanks so much for talking to us. Yeah, thank you. So I'm here with David Wong, and he didn't have to travel very far to come to WonderCon, did you? Probably the closest artist. I only live two miles away from here. <laughs> I'm a transplant. I'm originally from Sacramento. Yeah. So tell us about uh, what you're selling here today. What do you do? I just sell prints and do custom work for people all over the country. That's all I do. I do about 47 conventions a year. Wow. What inspired you to start this? Uh, girls. <laughs> and then there's money too. Yeah, yeah. And the prestige and the fame. Well, I'm still working for the fame, the money, and the prestige. But I work my butt off and it's just great. I love this business. You know, we've got a lot of artists here today, but what makes you unique? Yeah, every artist has their own little niche. Some do portraits, some do mashups. I do mashup crossovers where I'll take two subject matters and just blend them almost perfectly, almost, and just make it work. And I like that humor where someone will just walk up and just point and laugh, and they're just like, they got it. They just got it. And I feel that they're on the same level as me, whereas we're, we're thinking the same way. We're on the same competitive. I love it. How many years have you been coming to WonderCon? What number are we at right now? Like years Something years. like that. I've been going since uh, since when it was in Oakland. That was 19 years ago. Um, but I go every year. When it was in Oakland, back in the 90s, and the year 2000, it was in San Francisco, and then San Diego Comic Con bought this show, moved it to here, and then I've been going ever since. And I think I've missed maybe one year. Only one. How do you feel about it being in your hometown here in love Anaheim? It. I love it how it's in my backyard. I picked Los Angeles, mainly Anaheim, as my power base, so I have all my Southern California shows. And this is my closest show, and it's one of my best shows, and I love this show. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for talking to us. I hope you sell a lot. Thank you, everybody. Well, thanks for joining us today here at the Anaheim Convention Center. We've sure had a great time at WonderCon, and we will see you at the next event.